start with you. And let's start with the brand. Usually brands are built, but you just became a brand. Yeah, good evening everybody over here. And thank you Fiki Frames for inviting me and Tamanna and Bharti ji, uh, veteran journalist and film analyst and a friend. Thank you Bharti ji. Thank it's you. always great to interact with you. Yes. I think my journey, everybody knows, started from Chandni Bar and tomorrow it's going to be 21 years of Chandni Bar. So, it's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I think it's, a, it's, it's been a great journey and uh, Chandni Bar to Bubbly Bouncer has been an absolutely great journey. I enjoyed this every moment of my life, my films, uh, best performance of my actresses, actors and all the technician, producers and uh, the people who contributed to my movie, the, the writers. Everybody has contributed to make me the brand Madhur Bhandarkar. And I'm really touched that life has really been a good journey for me. From getting commercial success to critical acclaim to the national award uh, till the government of India uh, bestowed me with Padamshi. I think it's been a really, really a great journey. And I hope I keep making this kind of cinema to entertain my people, friends, and the larger people is my audience. Because of them, I am here. Now that you mentioned the National Award, this is a question for both of you. I believe you are off to collect yet another National Award. Yeah. Have you Did lost count? No, 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 no. <laughs> I think it's the fifth one. Okay. And, uh, Only fifth. Yeah. <laughs> Though that is for me, my movie, Avi Jatrik. And uh, on 30th of September, I'll be getting this award. As a producer, I produced the film, Bengali film which I'm very proud of. It was the concluding part of Satyajit Ray's uh, last chapter. And brilliantly, it was shot. I believed in the script. When I have the, the director who directed, I had not seen any of his work. But he came to me in a hotel, in the lobby we met, and my producer got me, a friend of mine. He just narrated the idea to me. I loved it so much. I said, I'll back this film. And um, really, that film, got a lot of critical acclaim, not only in India and internationally and the national award also. So I am very happy, proud of Avi Jatrik and thank you so much for everybody who has contributed to that film. Tamanna, uh, have you seen Mr. Bhandarkar's work before, I mean, did you see his films before he came to you or is that a question I shouldn't be asking? <laughs> Good evening everyone. Uh, Bharti ma'am, thank you for having us here. ये सवाल तो बहुत ही मतलब कैसे पूछ लिया आपने मैं कहाँ छुपाऊँ अपना मुंह इनकी फिल्म में कोई कैसे नहीं देख सकता all his films actually I think almost all his films I've always watched and always been a big fan I've bumped into him many times when I was working in Hyderabad and and yeah it's I think he started if I'm not wrong also his career in Hyderabad yeah, with, with Ramu, Ramu sir. Yeah. And I, of course, uh, karma bhoomi hai, to that, that route always will be there. But uh, yeah, I, the, the, the day I got um, called for Bubbly Bouncer, I knew that uh, my life's going to change. Uh, I'm just happy that I am from Mumbai, se hun, par I uh, South to ja Tamil Telugu baat karna sikha. Uh, is film mein act karne ke baad Haryanvi dialect ko attempt karne ka mauka mila jo mere liye bahut hi naya tha uh, aur ek actor ka quest yahi rehta hai ki wo har time kuch naya kare uh, logo ko lagta hai ki sirf unki entertainment ke liye hota hai par actually ek actor at least jis kism ki actor main hu main bahut aasani se bore ho jati hu to mujhe apne aap ko entertain karne ke liye kuch atarangi sa kuch naya sa karna padta hai uh, but it's a very, very beautiful period in my career. Um, an actor always needs good filmmakers to tap the best out of them. And uh, definitely lucked out with Bubbly Bouncer. And hoping that I can continue as much as possible. Damana, you've had a very interesting uh, trajectory. You are born in Mumbai. You did a film in Hindi. And then you got a career in Telugu and Tamil cinema. After which you again came to Bombay and did a couple of Hindi films, which unfortunately didn't do too well. Hamshakals and uh, uh, and Himmatwala. 
which didn't do well. You were, again did films in the south, and now bubbly bounced. So with this, you bounced back. Yeah. Actually, for me, it was interesting because uh, after uh, the two three films that I did in Hindi, which did not do well, I had a film called Bahu Bali, which kind of changed. um you know my trajectory completely and i also realized my true potential um through the part that i played in uh, bahubali which was the part of avantika um also women were really not presented in a physically strong um you know way before yes. that yeah and this was a primarily an action film a war film to be precise and in that doing action actually gave me the insight that um there's so much more to me that i haven't even tapped and then i kept working and now i've finally uh, landed up with this amazing part which fi is fine finally tamanna has arrived <laughs> absolutely i i think i've come absolutely. to fikki frames so yeah, i yeah. think that's a good that's a good sign fabulous uh, uh, madhu you know your cin your cinema is always associated with going very deep into a subject Huh. sometimes in a dark way yeah and um, bubbly was a very different kind of film because even though it's a female oriented film which you're famous for you still took a very light hearted um, you know you just kept the tone yeah. so what decides the tone of a film i mean is it the subject is it your mood what how do you decide the tone of a film any subject i think i'll just uh, recap it in 2018 2019 I had three subjects with me. One was an action film which wanted to make larger than life action film. Still there with me. There was one hard hitting woman centric cinema. Again, it was there. So the third script came to me. You know, 2018 and 2019 took me to write scripts. You know, all these years they said, "Madhur, you are where?" So it takes time to write script because I make film with a lot of research, meet people, interact, read a lot. And Bubbly Bouncer was the third film. So deliberately it was that I wanted to make a film very. Uh, Light-hearted, funny, humorous. Because I wanted to have a, another film which is like Bubbly Bouncer with like a Rishikesh Mukherjee kind of a touch, which is very real in in the in the world. And you know, the world of Bouncer was very fascinating. Nobody has shown the world the Bouncer, but it was definitely like a lot of people. I told that Bubbly Bouncer could have been a very serious movie also, hard hitting, like my Bandarkar stamp. But I wanted to make it a very light film. I was. quite successful making dil to bachcha hai ji we did very well for me at the box office also the songs were hit but here i deliberately kept because there were three films in my kitty so i wanted one film which had humor and a fun film that's how bubbly bouncer was written also and then suddenly pandemic happened 2019 ke khatam hote hote the pandemic came to everywhere everywhere globally we were in a pause mode we didn't know what to do where to go people were telling us industry is getting shut Theaters are getting shut. Pata nahi kya hoga. OTT was big boon that time. Everybody is watching that. And then again, uh, in that interim period, uh, after the first lockdown, I made this movie India Lockdown, which is going to come in December release. So I made that movie also on the pandemic, the first pandemic, what would happen. And before I could uh, go with my edit over there, the second pandemic came, right. and that was more volatile, and it really took a lot of toll of people. people we know relatives friends so many people we lost in that whole uh, turmoil then suddenly again things started moving the the vaccine came that toy that time hot disney hotstar and um, uh, jungle picture they approached me ki you have the subject bubbly bonds or you want to make a film which is very family which can be uh, seen by every family member so i said definitely i have and they told me ki you shoot like a film but we will make it to ott and i said why not it would be nice and that how we revisited it and that what in list for year february we started we met me and tamanna met in october last and then we had talks and we were how to go what her, she, her assignments were there which she has to complete i had to complete india lockdown post production work so we were both busy in our own space and then in this january we started you know the the costume the the whole thing the prep and all and J february we started 14th and 23rd September we released the film i think absolutely a great journey what is at and what speed at what speed you have made the film released it also yeah because yeah. i make film in a very um, budget one thing I'm, my usp is there like lot of directors said madhur teri usp hai tu yaar budget mein film banata humse to hota nahi hai so i make the film in a budget some pictures may have not worked for me 
but my it, it is a break even film right. you know to my right. budget are always control i never over burden with my budget to my producers so that's why i play very safe and that's the reason i want to make film which i believe in it i want to push the envelope and i want to show the reality what happens to the society but obviously this time i took a humorous way to show the society and a story of bubbly and uh, tamanna bhatia absolutely fits the bill and i'm happy today that she is winning hearts globally everywhere so what drew you to tamanna i think uh, when i met her i interacted with her like i said occasionally we used to interact uh, i was funny i was very <laughs> funny. very funny she was very funny <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure then <laughs> no, no, i think uh, she she uh, and bubbly bubbly absolutely <laughs> uh, i think today when i look uh, in retrospect i can't imagine only tamanna for this role i'm telling you that and a lot of people have told me this after watching also ki she really nailed it so well from her body language from the weight training she has to put on over there and the language the lehza which we call yes. so bang on accurate not caricatures no over the top it had to be subdued controlled everybody in the film and she really really worked very hard and i told her i'm going to treat you like a newcomer and it's a relaunch for her and i'm today when i look back definitely the 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 love affection for bubbly is huge here it's huge oh uh, was there any pressure on you that this is the national award winning director and you have to deliver a national award winning performance i wasn't so worried about the award but i was just thinking agar ye wali film mein nahi kiya to kab karungi Uh, also mere meri bhabhi haryanvi hai to i was like agar if i get the accent wrong ghar se chappal padenge so ghar pe to nahi padna chahiye chappal bahar se pade to fir bhi samajh mein aata hai to dar ke mare maine puri koshish ki ki uh, acha kar saku par sach baat ye hai ki main school mein ek tomboy thi aur mujhe wo kabhi filmon mein channel karne ka mauka nahi mila Uh, or jab when i when i heard the story i was like i finally have the chance to be who i am be who i am really <laughs> and uh, 12 rotiyan to nahi kha sakti thi but school mein 6 samosa khaya karti thi <laughs> to um, aur wo appetite abhi bhi barqarar hai so i am very happy show, to it doesn't show uh, bahut time gym mein aur <laughs> kafi i mean Honestly, as actors, we are on a diet since we start working. So yes. it's for me, it's been 17 years of some being on a such like a reasonable amount of diet. But yeah, uh, but on good days, six samosas is, is how it goes. Okay, it still goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, tell me, OTT. You mentioned the word safe. Yeah. Um, is OTT a safe place to have a film today? See, one thing is there, Bharti ji. You cannot stop technology. Whatever technology come, we had to accept it. Okay, there was a time when we had uh, video cassettes. Then suddenly CDs came. Then DVDs came. Then the disc also went. MP3 came. So technology cannot be stopped. And similarly, OTT platform is here to stay. And before 2019, or before pandemic, I would say, OTT and film industry, uh, the theatre, were coexisting together very well. so ott definitely the pandemic happened then ott becomes a big uh, thing for the people sitting at home and people have binge watch films web series everything we watch we watch all kind of cinema in that two years it was a learning experience for everybody at home so the expectation of the audience watching on um, uh, ott really changed they are the expectation grew they thought what is a good writing in in web series and that's also in india and internationally so they watch south cinema also they watch spanish cinema also italian cinema also this is huge and today ott definitely is a platform which will grow only it won't go backward it will grow only in coming years also there will more ott platform coming more streaming line will be coming and i think for today's generation today's uh, upcoming filmmaker ott definitely is a absolutely great platform because from our time it was not there ki if your film doesn't do well or something you know then we again you have to go struggle but today i know a lot of filmmakers who want to make movies they can push the envelope they feel this is a movie can be for ott i am mean, the hard editing subject or real so that's a great platform for filmmakers who are doing very well at at the ott platform series the ott stars ott actresses which have got huge platform and people are welcoming them 
तो आई थिंक ओ टी टी इज हियर टू स्टे यू कैनॉट सी के ओ टी टी इज नॉट देर दे विल बी देर पीपल विल वॉच मूवीज एन ओ टी टी ऑल्सो बट द थिएटर मैजिक विल नेवर डिमिनिश दैट विल बी ऑल्सो देर द मैजिक ऑफ सिनेमा वॉचिंग मूवी इन द थिएटर विद योर फ्रेंड्स कलीग फैमिली दैट विल बी ऑलवेज बी देर बिकॉज वी को एग्जिस्ट टूगेदर always and it will be there ott will be there film industry will be also you know there are certain filmmakers and certain actors also who don't want to be identified with ott they say no we are big screen people for instance john abraham has told me that he said i will not reduce myself to the small screen so every film of mine has to first come on the big screen what do you feel about that tamanna i think it's an individual decision like i this happened to me pre pandemic actually i i felt like a uh, for me i am an actor and for me it's the my point of being around is to constantly tell new stories be a part of uh, movies where i play completely a brand new person every time so for me i feel like that's my strength also uh, what today it's my skill that is my strength and that whichever format gives me uh, you know the right kind of access to people is the format for me and i think i as an actor have always been very open minded like i remember when i started working down south of course in in hindi films mainstream actors would you know would do uh, would do songs in you know in ma- mainstream female leads used to do songs in uh, in other people's movies um as a special song but in the south it was considered something that people did once their career was getting over mm. but i love to dance and i thought that that's my skill and i i would want to showcase that because that's what i'm good at so i feel like as an actor whatever you think is your skill if you're getting the right platform for it i don't think anything is big or small today uh, good content like for example i never thought i'll be watching korean cinema yeah. but today i have also become a consumer and i'm not the usual consumer so yeah. i feel like matlab if the story is based on human emotions like for example squid game was something that i watched i binge watched and i realized that something which is uh, you know like a survival drama i didn't know that kind of a genre existed till i saw squid game you know and i when i saw and i happened to recently meet one of the the actor who plays the pakistani uh, gentleman in the in the film and you know i was i asked him i said how did you reach there he's like no i went to korea i learned their language you know i i lived there and it it's an interesting journey matlab hindustani actor ja ke korea mein korean seekh ke korean baat kar raha hai aur aur you know he's a part of a film that is right. now watched all around the world it's cult yeah. it's cult yeah so i feel like ek actor ke haath mein wo kahan jana chahta hai agar hum chand pe bhi jana chahte to koi rok nahi sakta so you are fine with any platform as long as you instagram get to do what platform you want ho gaya ma'am sachi batao to instagram bhi platform ho gaya at the end today on a, so many of us are i mean most of us are on our phones like today when we are uploading a reel also we are judging ourselves ki yaar acche acche dikh rahe hain acha kar rahe ki nahi acche se bol rahe ki nahi to today every piece of content is a reflection of who you are so i don't think as an actor you can leave any opportunity unturned Okay, so you had no hesitation when you knew that you're going to be making a film for OTT because Babli was right away for it's the OTT. same thing. Actually, you were all right. It's the same thing. And Madhu, did you have even little bit of a hesitation about Babli? That why am I making it for OTT? I need theater. He chaye. No, no, sir. Bilkul nahi tha. Dekhi, yeah, definitely. When inception hua picture ka, so when pandemic kya, then pee nahi pata tha kisko. I'm talking about 2018-19 me. So, ham log usko pata nahi tha. Isa kuch disease aayega, pure world ko jinjor dega. We we never thought about it. So that time, obviously, it was for film only. कि मैं बोलूँगा नहीं नहीं OTT के लिए गलत होगा. It was for film only. But then two years passed. Everything went in pause mode. We were all devastated. The things were happening throughout the world. And when things became normal, we started picking up the threads. So उस टाइम पे अगर OTT मुझे बोल रहा है कि we'll give you a good budget and a hot star is a huge platform and jungly pictures and they say कि we want you to shoot like a film only. But uh, we want to make this movie specially. is a family entertainer and today when we look back to so definitely i feel i'm very happy validation hua hai ki people are watching the film family together they are watching the film bubbly bouncer at their home har koi picture baith ke dekh raha hai to maine maine kabhi nahi dekha ki ott hai ya ye hai good content everywhere people watch and today the line is getting blurred very fast तो पीपल विल वॉच द फिल्म ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं था या टुडे आई नो कि लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर टेलिंग व्हाई बबली बॉन्स इज सच अ गुड कंटेंट डिन कम इन द थिएटर 
but that situation eight nine months was different completely we didn't know where it was going people are thinking people, single plexes are getting closed theaters are getting closed nobody is coming to the theater see all this calamity has took place and not only here globally it was hit economic big time and globally people are not going to the theater it's just from last six months we are seeing people have started again that confidence has come people have taken double vaccine booster shot everything and things are getting normal people are taking revenge travel going abroad everywhere so i think it's great and um, i am very happy ultimately the reach of your content reaches to the right person right people that is very essential for us today tamanna uh, the last time we really heard about you was when you did this huge big screen uh, bahubali uh, i mean everybody remembers you in bahubali and then next thing we know is that you're doing a madhur bandarkar film so how different has have the two experiences been this large extravaganza and you have a bunch from bahubali to bubbly bounce exactly from b to b so i have been working uh, in the indian film industry for the past 17 years um i started working when i was 14 and i started with films with cinema with what we know as the the big screen experience um i think every movie shaped me in a certain way but i think what i learned the most is to kind of unlearn uh so even after i went through a process like uh bahubali which was an extravaganza visually and even as a story um every time i took up a new project i had to unlearn everything i did before and that's the only way i approach my work today because if i have to get into you know working with someone say, after working with someone like rajamouli sir who works in a certain way uh, and then working with with madhur sir um to be able to fit into their worlds i need to deconstruct mine um having said that these these 17 years have given me so much experience uh because i worked in all, with all kinds of directors with people who spoke different languages whose methods were very very varied and different um but i think the biggest thing i learned being on a film set is the one thing that's used the most on a film set is common sense and i feel like every film is essentially made by that and that's why there's no education for it uh, i'm not educated i'm not a trained actor or a performer uh, nobody can teach you this it's something that you learn on the go and you learn every day i'm still learning i know the next film i will shoot i will be learning something new and i'm actually looking forward to that that i think an actor is a is a forever student because uh, every time you enter a new world it's about learning something and unlearning something so um so yeah they can be two very varied experiences but that's the point of it can you tell